filosofi orang Papua Kita menghormati tanah dan hutan sebagai mama kita Laut adalah ayah kita Yang terus menghidupkan kita dari turun temurun Sampai dunia ini berakhir Perairan Raja Ampat sebagai salah satu geopark dunia yang memerlukan dukungan semua pihak. Salah satu hal yang sangat mendasar yang hari ini membutuhkan perhatian kita semua adalah mulai terancamnya ya, spesies hiu berimbing. Kita patut bangga untuk itu bahwa Papua Barat, Raja Ampat itu akan menjadi reference atau menjadi acuan bagi upaya-upaya pelestarian uh, spesies uh, di tempat lain di dunia. Gitu. Raja Ampat is found to have the highest biodiversity in almost anything: mollusks, uh, corals, fish, you name it. This is the greatest of all, the center of all marine biodiversity because this incredible geological history. It is rich beyond imagination. Dari hasil pengamatan banyak pihak bahwa Stegostoma tigrimino sudah hampir tidak didapati lagi di dalam kawasan kita. Rajampa isn't alone in terms of its leopard shark population being highly depressed to the point of almost not seeing them anymore. That has happened actually most of the way across the Indian and Pacific Ocean. Um, but in a very interesting conservation asymmetry, they're almost extinct in the wild, and yet they're doing really well in large public aquariums. In public aquariums, we're doing some amazing work with a lot of the species that are now threatened and endangered. We do breeding for recovery and rescue programs. And it just so happens that over 20 years of working with zebra sharks, we've been breeding them all of this time. When we were approached for the resharking uh, project, so it was a pretty cool idea. Uh, number one, they're very beautiful sharks, and indeed, in several places in the world, they have been just totally wiped out. So, yeah, we were happy to support it. For the local communities, because this is their land, and so they know the importance of beauty of their own house, they would like to have more varieties of fish and more sharks and not having them killed. So it's very important for them, and they're very excited, but I think we need to help them to make this happen. And I think that's our role here. We all together, hand in hand, work together to make it happen. We are now about two and a half years in of research, of government relations, of veterinary research, of communications and, and public relations work. All of our different working groups working together toward this moment today where we finally got to move our first batch of eggs from Sydney, Australia, through Jakarta, to across from Jakarta all the way to Sarong, and then on a two and a half hour boat ride out here to where we are today in the Raja Ampat Research and Conservation Center, to their new home. This was a world first conservation translocation of an endangered shark species. Prosesnya sangat panjang. Setiap hari itu adalah kejutan buat saya dan juga akuaris lainnya. Karena melihat dari pertumbuhan mereka, dari uh, dari perubahan pattern di tubuh mereka, cara mereka dari pertama kita kasih makan hingga sekarang mereka sudah bisa hunt snailnya sendiri, which is live food.
the last one year is where everything happened locally, I would say. From the aquarium training, the building of the hatchery, um, from you know 20% to 100%, um, and getting the first shipment, second shipment, um, first release, that all happened within one year, which was incredibly exciting, um, amazing at the same time. We are at the final stage of the end of phase one of the Zebra Shark Project of Reef Shark. On the day of the release, everyone was so energized in the morning, ready, knowing what was to come. We transitioned the sharks from the sea pen across the jetty and into these big yellow bins on the boat. And after those, they were loaded, Nesha jumped on the boat with Max and we watched the boat take off away up north toward Wyack. And then when we got to the beach, everyone was just very, like, so glad that we made it safe and sound and super excited to see these first two sharks is going to be like the ambassador for every stags and every shark can raise in the world when it comes to a reintroduction program. Ini menjadi salah satu tonggak sejarah di Raja Ampat khususnya bagi masyarakat suku Kawe yang notabene memiliki wilayah adat mereka. Ini merupakan salah satu langkah progres bagaimana dengan uh, bangga mereka harus bersama-sama kami untuk menjaga dan melindungi hiu belimbing di Laguna Wayak. Kalau Kumaya diam dan tidak pernah mereka berpikir untuk melindungi, maka suatu saat anak cucu mereka tidak akan dapat apa. Karena filosofi orang Papua, kita menghormati tanah dan hutan sebagai mama kita, laut adalah ayah kita, yang terus menghidupkan kita dari turun temurun sampai dunia ini berakhir. The path that this program will pave will be critical to creating more reintroduction programs to create future sustainable sustainability for our oceans. And that's what's really important is to continue this. I was really touched today by how much love these zebra sharks have behind them. And I think that love can be very powerful and the passion that people have behind really wanting this program to work. I'm 100% confident that it will be successful. I guess the best way to describe it, a bittersweet moment when Nesha holding a shark is going to release it in Wyag and the shark swims free and dives down and disappears into the green water. It's the culmination of what the project is all about. <laughs> Toothpaste. <laughs> if we do what we're planning to do, releasing 50 to 100 animals per year for a five year plus period, within 10 to 20 years, we see them come back to uh, you know, an absolutely healthy, genetically diverse population with zero chance of extinction. So that, Obviously, it's something that, that uh, a no-brainer as to what we were going to do. Pemerintah Provinsi Papua Barat Daya sangat mendukung Project Star dalam membantu proses pemulihan populasi hiu belimbing sekaligus memberikan manfaat ekonomi bagi masyarakat lokal melalui sektor pariwisata bahari. Mari bersama-sama dengan Star yang sedang melakukan upaya untuk menjaga kemurahan. Uh, hiu berimpin. Untuk bersatu padu, kita menjaga uh, kelestarian spesies hiu berimpin sebagai salah satu uh, spesies yang sekarang terancam di dunia khususnya di wilayah Raja Ampat. We've accomplished so much, but we're standing here at the beginning. We have proof of concept. Join us in the next step as we scale up to increase our impact 
not only to fully recover zebra sharks, but to move on to the next species and the next species after that. Visit us at reshark.org to learn more about how you can take action for these sharks.